um, we are in the end times, you know, meaning that God has set an appointed time that he chooses to um, transition the whole world into a new era where righteousness dwells and where righteousness reigns. And so, you know, we know that God wants everyone to be saved. And it's so true. Um, God, he loves us so much that, you know, the you know, the story he sent Jesus to die for our sins. And um, that's so good. Right. And so I think one thing we have to remember is uh, what are we doing to maintain our fellowship with Christ. You know, uh, it's not always about doing so much, you know, where we're always serving, 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 but are we actually listening and doing what the Bible says, not necessarily getting caught up in prophesying or um you know casting out devils or uh performing miracles you know jesus says that he will say you know i never knew you depart from me you know you workers of iniquity and so i think one of the important things about becoming a christian is turning from your sin you know and so many times we can call ourselves, you know, Christian, we can call ourselves uh, followers of Jesus, but are we really working iniquity? And I think that's what our focus should be as we uh, are approaching more and more end time signs, you know, um, God, you know, the whole story of the Bible is about not uh disobeying god right i mean really adam and eve they were presented with one task and that was you know do we obey god or disobey god and so i think sometimes you know life can boil down to um you know for now at least you know uh the whole Bible, I guess what I'm saying is the whole Bible seems to be between right and wrong, you know, doing what's right and doing what's wrong. And so I think one thing that we have to realize as followers of Jesus is that Jesus is the one who gives us power to overcome sin, you know? And so, um, it's not just putting our faith in Christ because, you know, uh, that's something to do i think it's more on along the lines of utilizing the power that jesus can give us when we uh you know put our faith in him and then uh turn away use use our faith to turn away from sin and i think this goes along the lines of anything that is really a stronghold in your life you know this could be pornography this could be um some sort of sex sin sexual sin um and so anyway uh you know as we approach end times what are some of the signs that we are looking for um some of the signs that we're looking for are uh, you know, the, uh, uh, earthquakes in various places, um, the things that are, where was happening in Matthew 24 was, uh, you know, pestilences, you know, um, uh, he said lawlessness will abound. Jesus said lawlessness will abound, you know, um, and so, that's one of the signs of the end times is when there's just 
so much wickedness everywhere, you know, and it's kind of like the story of Sodom and Gomorrah or Noah. You know, Jesus said it would be like the days of Noah, you know, where, yes, there will be an aspect of eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage where, you know, it will be kind of day normal, you know, uh, as far as everyday life situations. But uh, Jesus said that when he comes back, he will it will be like a snare on the whole entire world where it's going to happen in one uh, moment where there's no longer any time to prepare. And so, you know, in the parable of the five virgins, which is a great parable, uh, you know, they prepared beforehand before, uh, Jesus, or I guess that's the interpretation, but before the wedding, they actually went into the wedding and, uh, before the bridegroom called them to the wedding, you know, the, the five wise virgins, they were preparing beforehand. And so what are some things that we can do to prepare for Jesus coming? Well, we already talked about turning away from sin. You know, uh, I, I suggest, you know, if you haven't been baptized, uh, you know, become baptized and then also really reinforce your belief. You know, sure. If you need to look at evidence for the Bible, why not watch a movie about that or, uh, you know, watch some sort of program or read a book about evidence for the Bible, uh, you know, evidence for Jesus, you know, um, maybe do do things uh try to research things that reinforce your faith you know you know and then test yourself you know do you really believe in the bible um you know but the god says if we were to judge ourselves we wouldn't be judged and so uh, to me you know i mean what that means is you know, are, are we kind of testing ourselves to say, you know, am I living up to the guidelines of following Jesus or, you know, am I, uh, you know, just saying I follow Jesus. And so, you know, that's what I've discovered as, you know, I have been a Christian for X amount of years, uh, you know, I, and in high school, you know, um, I guess I used to go to Bible studies, you know, I used to go to church and then go to the youth group Bible studies and hang out with other Christ followers. But, you know, I feel like there were some areas of my life that weren't fully surrendered to Christ. And I feel like that's what Jesus is saying in that a uh, s- short story where he says, you know, why do you say Lord, Lord, but don't do what I say. And, you know, he says that they, people will say, Lord, Lord, do we prophesy in your name, cast out demons in your name, perform many miracles. And so I feel like that's what he's saying is that, you know, we need to mature in our faith. You know, we need to become more mature and really feed on meat instead of the milk of, you know, uh, even though the word of God is milk, I, I would say, you know, what is the meat? That's what I'm going to research more. But, um, I think the meat is m- deeper discussions about righteousness, you know, not just, uh, you know, talking about, oh, you need to be baptized or, oh, you need to, you know, there's a judgment or, you know, or, oh, there's, uh, you know, heaven or hell, you know, those are the basics. I think the meat of the word of God is going in onto the deeper things of, uh, you know, 
practicing good works maybe or uh learning about the temple of god or learning how uh uh, certain things work in the Bible, uh, you know, just the deeper truths of the Bible and taking your study of the Bible further than, you know, I read a little bit here or I read a little bit there or, you know, I think what's helped me is uh, getting more understanding about certain topics of the Bible you know, yes, I think what I'm going through uh, more recently is trying to definitely find accurate teaching, you know, because sometimes it seems like there's teaching that could contradict the Bible. And so that could you have to watch out for that. But my whole point of saying that is, you know, I find it I have found it helpful in uh overcoming is getting more understanding about a certain topic, you know, uh, getting understanding about, um, the Bible, you know, um, maybe getting, uh, you know, maybe you want, you could, you know, learn where the Bible comes from. You know, I, I've watched a lot of videos from the Bible project and I highly recommend that if you haven't heard of them, you know, I I know I've talked to a few people who have never heard of the Bible project, uh, you know, but, uh, that is something important to do. And then another thing important, I highly recommend listening to an audio Bible, you know, um, I personally, you know, I, I, I read the Bible, but I really listen to audio Bibles a lot. And that's what I recommend, you know, because when you listen to an audio Bible, you can get through more of the Bible, you know, than just flipping through pages and reading. And you can listen to the Bible while multitasking, which I, I like too. Where, you know, you're able to, you know, uh, uh, take in the Bible, but you kind of are still going about your everyday life. And that is really helpful. But anyway, I think uh, I personally, I do believe in a rapture or I believe in um I believe that we are not appointed to wrath, you know, when talking about end times, you know, uh, I, I don't believe that we're appointed to wrath. Um, and so I don't think we are going to experience the, uh, the, the wrath of God that is found in revelation. And so as we get to end times, you know, I believe that there is good evidence in scripture that uh, we will be taken up to heaven um, before the big events of wrath happen in Revelation. And I think the what happens in the tribulation when it talks about uh, Christians that are uh, kind of beheaded or uh, different things like that that I believe is when people find Christ after the door is shut where um, you can no longer get taken up to heaven in the rapture I believe there's strong evidence for the rapture one is that you know, in the books of Thessalonians to the, the books to the Thessalonians, um, God, he talks about how, uh, the dead in Christ will rise first. And then, uh, we who are alive and remain will be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. But, you know, that 
particular passage doesn't necessarily give a timing of the rapture. You know, it doesn't really indicate it's pre-tribulational or post-tribulational. But, you know, uh, even if we don't get taken up into heaven, you know, I believe there's a way to escape some of the tribulational things that happen. And I believe that's found in scripture where, um, you know, God says he'll keep uh, the... I, I want to say the Laodicean church, but he'll, he'll keep some people from the hour of trial that's going to happen on the whole earth, you know? Uh, and so he is talking about talking to people that overcome, you know, people that overcome God says that he will keep them from the hour of trial. So I, I believe there's evidence that, you know, we won't go through the tribulation and I believe there's a I think what some other Christians say is true about um, you know today is the day of salvation you know don't wait until you're kind of forced to oh now I want to choose Jesus and I think it really comes down to you know do you want to do the right thing you know I, I think it is about having a relationship with Jesus, but I think God also puts a big emphasis on, um, are we, um, choosing to do what is right? You know, are we turning away from evil when, you know, God makes it plain that something is evil, you know, something is not good for us to do. You know, are we ter- choosing to turn away from that? And I think that's kind of what it means to follow Jesus uh, to some extent. You know, obviously, I guess it's more complicated than that. But, you know, um, I think we are supposed to, uh, you know, choose Jesus today and then go into uh, heaven with him when he appears in the sky you know but i will say this that you know sometimes uh you know it can get complicated when looking into end times and i highly recommend you know getting a book or two on end times but you know um at the same time you know let's be ready no matter what happens in the end times by, I think one self, uh, uh, one, uh, I was going to say something else, but one, uh, reassuring thing that we can do, how we know that we are doing the right thing is that if we check off like a metaphoric box of, are we doing what the Bible says, you know, and, I think if we uh, really ask ourselves, are we doing everything that the Bible says do? And then at the end of the day, you know, we can uh, rest easy that, you know, I, I did everything that God wants me to do. So anyway, hope you found this podcast helpful. Um, you can visit my website, washi.com. That's W-A-S-H ye.com for uh, more Bible based content and um, you might be listening to this through the website but uh, you can also visit our YouTube channel uh, it's Bible Wisdom uh, on YouTube a channel called Bible Wisdom and uh you can really find it by typing in Bible wisdom Y E. And I think that will be uh, a better place to watch it, but I mean, a better way to find in it, but you can also uh, click the link through our website or not our, but my, <laughs> my website, not really working with anyone else right now, but uh, hopefully I, maybe I will be in the future. <laughs> but anyway, um, Thanks so much for listening to this podcast, and I will talk to you on the next one. See ya.